Name the Father, Son, Amen. Get on, sir. Was. Is the victory thou, O death, the 
as one. Lord Jesus, feeds us, risen from the tomb. Lovingly he greets us, scatters fears and gloom. Let the church with gladness, hymns of triumph sing. For the Lord is living, death has lost its sting. is the victory thou O death has won no more we doubt the glorious prince of peace life is not without thee aid us in our strife make us more than conquerors Deathless love, bring us safe to Jordan, to thy home above. Thine be the glory, risen, conquering sun. Endless is the victory, thou, O death, has won. the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Mass today is we offer Mary Hobson. We wish you all a very happy Easter as we come together to celebrate the resurrection of the Lord. We pray that his resurrection may touch our lives and bring us to life with him. Today sin is forgiven, light is brought into our hearts. And so at the beginning of Mass, we acknowledge that great gift of love as we together confess our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. 
For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who on this day, through your only begotten Son, have conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity, grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may, through the renewal brought by your Spirit, rise up in the light of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter addressed Cornelius and his household. You must have heard about the recent happenings in Judea, about Jesus of Nazareth and how he began in Galilee after John had been preaching baptism. God had anointed him with the Holy Spirit and with power. And because God was with him, Jesus went about doing good and curing all who had fallen into the power of the devil. Now I and those with me can witness to everything he did throughout the countryside of Judea and in Jerusalem itself, and also to the, f to the fact that he killed him by hanging him on a tree. Yet three days afterwards, God raised him to life and allowed him to be seen, not by the whole people, but only by certain witnesses God had chosen beforehand. Now we are those witnesses. We have eaten and drunk with him after his resurrection from the dead. And he has ordered us to proclaim this to his people and to tell them that God has appointed him to judge everyone, alive or dead. It is to him that all the prophets bear this witness, that all who believe in Jesus will have their sins forgiven through his name. The word of the Lord. This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad This day was made by the Lord We rejoice and are glad Give thanks to the Lord for He is good For His love has no end Let the sons of Israel say his love has no end. This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. The Lord's right hand has triumphed. His right hand raised me up. I shall not die, I shall live and recount his deeds. This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the work of the Lord, his marvel in our eyes. 
This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Since you have been brought back to true life with Christ, you must look for the things that are in heaven, where Christ is, sitting at God's right hand. Let your thoughts be on heavenly things, not on the things that are on the earth, because you have died. And now the life you have is hidden with Christ in God. But when Christ is revealed, and he is your life, you too will be revealed in all your glory with him. The word of the Lord. I don't, I don't have, have it, thank you. And praise. The sheep are ransomed by the Lamb, and in Christ the undefiled, as sinners to his Father reconciled. Death with life contended, combat strangely ended, life's own champion slain, yet lives to reign. Tell us, Mary, see what thou didst see upon the way. The tomb the living did enclose, I saw Christ's glory as he rose. The angels there attesting, shroud with grave clothes resting. Christ, my hope, has risen, he goes before you into Galilee. That Christ is truly risen from the dead, we know. Victorious King, thy mercy show. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Let us celebrate the feast then in the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. According to John. It was very early on the first day of the week and still dark when Mary Magdalene came to the tomb. She saw that the stone had been moved away from the tomb came running to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one Jesus loved. They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, she said. We don't know where they have put him. So Peter set out with the other disciple to go to the tomb. They ran together, but the other disciple, running faster than Peter, reached the tomb first. He bent down and saw the linen cloths lying on the ground, but did not go in. Simon Peter, who was following, now came up, went right into the tomb, saw the linen cloths on the ground, and also the cloth that had been over his head. This was not with the linen cloths, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple, who had reached the tomb first, also went in. He saw, and he believed. Till this moment, they had failed to understand the teaching of Scripture, that he was rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. When we imagine the resurrection, generally 
It is a fiction. We have our own images of what we think the resurrection is. But we can never really know. For some people, it is something that happens quietly in the dark. For others, they imagine a great burst of light casting that image onto the Turing shroud. For others, we hear in the gospel there's a clap of thunder or an earthquake. But we don't know. Don't know exactly how it happened. All we know is that it did happen. And so we rely on the apostles' eyewitness statements. But we remember too that they weren't actually present as he was resurrected. So even what they tell us isn't necessarily first-hand experience. But we look at their reactions, and there are three of them that we see today. John runs to the tomb. He's been told by Mary Magdalene that Jesus is risen, except she has simply said, the Lord is not there. And so he runs to the tomb, but he doesn't go in. We can ask ourselves, why doesn't he go in? What's holding him back? And perhaps he is a symbol for all of those people who want to believe, but can't finally enter into belief. They stand on the edge of the tomb, but can't fully enter into the mystery of the resurrection. They wait for more concrete proof. We look Mary Magdalene, and she is the first to witness the risen Christ, but even she doesn't recognize him. Who are you? Why are you taking him away? If you know where he is, tell me. Even she who has stood by the cross, now the first to witness the risen Lord, doesn't recognize him. And that is many of us. We want to believe, we do believe, but often we miss the risen Christ in our lives. We somehow don't encounter him like we should. Perhaps we need to listen more carefully to his voice as he calls us by name, as he does to Mary. Mary. And then she recognises him. And Peter, impetuous Peter, he rushes in, sees the linen cross, sees that the Lord isn't there. And we're told he believes. But he doesn't always believe. We've seen him doubt. We've seen him doubt when Jesus asks him to come to him on the lake. Peter begins to sink. And even after Jesus' resurrection, Peter still isn't always fully convinced. He meets the risen Christ. But then think of the story of the Corvadis, when in Rome, Jesus, Peter is fleeing from the persecution. And he encounters the risen Christ on the way. He says, where are you going, Lord? I'm going back to Rome to be crucified again, because you are there for me. Peter's faith is strong, but then he wavers. He confesses faith, but then he denies. Peter is like many of us. We do believe, we want to believe, but sometimes we forget. Sometimes we doubt. But always, every encounter with the living Christ brings about faith. John will overcome his doubt his hesitation, his fears. He will become the apostle who lives longest and bears witness to the furthest places. Mary Magdalene is the first apostle, the first witness to the resurrection. She has loved the Lord and she has not flinched from loving him. And Peter, for all of his faults, will be the leader of the church in the ways of faith. So it doesn't matter where we are on our faith journey, the reason Christ is prepared to encounter us. And when he does encounter us, then our lives are changed. Not changed irrevocably, but changed over and over again. And we should never be afraid of how we are feeling. But this day, this day of resurrection, 
that is there again with the whole church. He is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Now I ask you to stand, please, and wait for a light to come from the Paschal candle as our altar service pass among you lighting. The Paschal mystery, mystery we have been buried with Christ in baptism, baptism so that we may walk with him in newness of life. And so, now, now that our length of service is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism, by which we want to renounce Satan and his works, and promise to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so now I ask you, do you renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of the children of God? I do. Do you do renounce the lure of evil so that sin, sin may have no mastery over you? Do you renounce Satan, the author and prince of sin? Do you believe in God as the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting? And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us the forgiveness of our sins, keep us by His grace in Christ Jesus our Lord for eternal life. Amen. Raise us to life in Christ Jesus. Water of life, cleanse and refresh us. Raise us to life in Christ Jesus. Cleanse and refresh us, cleanse us to life 
in Christ Jesus. I know, I know it's, it's pathetic. pathetic. Oh, <laughs> we now we attend to God, God our Father with our prayers and intercession. intercession. We, we rejoice in the resurrection of the Saviour and place before his Father and ours the needs of the Church, church and the world. world. For the Pope and the bishops, as they lead the Church on this joyful day, May the risen Christ renew their love for him and his church. Lord, hear us. For peace in our world this Easter, that the anger and hatred in the hearts of men and women may be dissipated by love and joy. Lord, hear us. For our country, May all be touched by the Easter message of love, conquering hatred and suffering. Lord, hear us. For our parish, may we be a place where people can truly encounter the risen and living Christ. Lord, hear us. For all those who have died, we pray especially for Vera Fleming, who died recently, and for Patsy Bainingham, Dominic Hill, Ronald Mattinson, Bridget Graham, and Mary Lagan, whose anniversaries occur at this time. May they all share in Christ's victory over sin and death. Lord, hear us. We rejoice with our lady as we, as we sing the Regina Chaley. She's 368. Regina Chaley, Leitare, Alleluia, Quia, Quemeluisi Potare, Alleluia, Resurrexit, Sicutixit, Alleluia, ora pro nobis Deum, Alleluia. Lord of God, God, we thank, thank you for your gift of eternal life, granted to us through the risen Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. ever. Amen. I'm 
Free to the earth, a work in your hands, to become for us the bread of life. Bless you, Lord, God, God of all creation, for through to your, your goodness, goodness we have received the wine we offer you, through to the divine and work, work in your hands, to become our spiritual drink. drink.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Exulting with Paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your Church is wondrously reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord at our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. At all times to proclaim you, O Lord. But on this day above all, to the Lord you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising he restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exult in your praise, and in the heavenly powers, with the angelic hosts, sing together in the name of your glory, as they claim. Indeed, Holy Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, the pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts. We have brought you for consecration, that the day may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to whose command we celebrate these mysteries. From the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and to give you thanks, he said, blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and he gave you thanks, he said, blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith of the world, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial, the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection, and his ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and to fill this Holy Spirit, may become one body, one Spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, such treasures with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for from failing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Terence Patrick, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you, in your, your compassion, O merciful Father, gather, gather to yourself all your children, scattered throughout the world, to our, our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleased with their, their passing from this life. life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There, there we hope to enjoy, enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ, Christ our Lord, who be bestowed on the world, all is his good. good. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all the glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Is commanded and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who sent your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. It is all each other the sign of peace. And yesterday, we 
His saving power is here in bread and wine for me. Bread of life, truth eternal, broken now to set us free. The risen Christ is saving power. Let Let's his pray. pray. Look upon your church, your God, with unfailing love and favor. So that, so that renewed, renewed by, by the Paschal Mysteries, she may she come to the glory of the resurrection, resurrection through Christ, Christ our, our Lord. Lord. Amen. 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 Thanks, thanks, thanks to everybody who enables the celebration of the Trinity here. Thanks, thanks to Bob Osmond here, Hogan, who was very, very kind to help me out. Thanks, thanks to James, who's helped him around and made sure that everything was in its right place. Thanks to our leaders, the ministers. To Carol, who's always done beautiful for the flowers. Thank, Thank you to, to the cleaners, cleaners and everybody. This is Yar was fantastic, fantastic, but there was one thing we really missed in Yar Reno to stay. That's, that's our altar, altar service. We don't, we don't know how lucky we are to have, to have so, so many of them and how helpful they really, really are. And just thank, thank you all very, very much. much and you are very, very much appreciated. Hope you've had a chance, chance to break your legs and fast up my mind last night. It's a very, very strange mixture of glasses of whiskey with toast, toast but, but nevertheless, they both went down, down very, very, very well. The Lord, the Lord be with, with you. you. By your head for blessing. May Almighty God, God bless you to today's Easter solemnity. And in, in his, his compassion, compassion defend, defend you from every assault of sin. sin. Amen. Amen. And may, and may he who is restored you to eternal, eternal life in the, in the resurrection of his only begotten, begotten endow you with the prize of immortality. Amen. Amen. Now, now that the days of the Lord's passion have drawn to a close, may, may you who celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast come, come with Christ's Christ help and exalt in spirit, in spirit to those, those feasts to be celebrated in eternal, eternal joy. Amen. Amen. May the, the blessing of Almighty, Almighty God, God, the Father, and the, the Son, and, and the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit come, come down, down on you and remain, remain with you forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Go, Go in the peace, peace of Christ, Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. Hallelujah. Thank you.
my life, 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 my life